is me. So I've given away t-shirts, saddle pads, tack, but today I'm giving away a whole holiday. So to be in the chance of winning, um, I'll talk about all of that at the end of the video. So I hope you enjoy my little adventure on the Isle of Wight. This is me and as you can see I'm currently on a boat. We're going on another adventure and today we're going to the Isle of Wight. I'm actually taking some of my school friends along with me because we've just finished our A-level exam so we've all finished school now. So as a celebration we're going on a little trip, a little adventure and we're actually going to the Island Riding Centre and we can all ride so we're going to be riding some horses which is very exciting. All car drivers and passengers please return to their vehicles. Okay, so we've now arrived at the Island Riding Centre. We're staying at the house here and it is absolutely beautiful, but I'll show you that later. I'm now in my riding gear and we've just had some lunch and things. Also, our journey here was really easy, especially as I've only just been, I've been driving for about a year now. So it's actually my first time driving on a boat. So that was pretty fun. As though getting the ferry over was really easy as well. We've had some lunch and things, got my riding gear on. So we're now gonna go down to the stables with my friends. We're gonna have an assessment ride so they can see what our riding's like and then match our ability to the horses so we're really comfortable and happy with the horses that we have for the next couple of days so that's gonna be really good so let's go down oh I'm excited to see the horses see who we're riding so we're here with Kirsty now we're just gonna go up to the stables and meet our horses that we're gonna be riding for the week so, uh, oh we'll go for them. okay got it <laughs> um, Otty is very good at everything essentially he can be a little bit grumpy um, but he rides a nice dressage test, he also jumps well. Bluebell is only eight. She's not had a massive amount of schooling. When we got her, she was six, um, and she kind of only knew how to go in straight lines. Uh, she's getting much better, aren't you, Bluebell? She's, <laughs> she's hilarious because she's got the slowest walk in the world and then probably the fastest trot mm. and, a, and a pretty speedy canter too. So when you're walking <laughs> along on her, you think, oh my God, this is all going to go anywhere. And then suddenly you go faster than walk and she picks it up a gear and, and she can really do some stuff, don't you, Bluebell? Aww. But don't be fooled because although he looks like a cob, and if we're honest, he looks kind of more like a rhino than a pony. Oh. Um, he's awesome. He's got the brain of a thoroughbred. So he's got quite quick reflexes, nothing nasty, but he is quite what I'd call sharp. He can jump off any stride. He can sort of get it wrong and focus will help you out. If there's a jump to be jumped, focus is up for it. Um, he can be a little bit lazy to start with, but once he realises that actually he's going to have quite a lot of fun, then he sort of gets in the spirit of it and, and goes for it. He's 15 now, um, but very low mileage because he wasn't broken to ride until after he was gelded. So. So we've had a long discussion about which horses would be best for all of us and I've got Beanie here and she's going to be riding Ottie so we've got the chestnut with the ginger so it actually works quite well. <laughs> Didn't plan for it to happen like that but it did so that's going to be fun. So I'm here with Ella and she's going to be riding Colin the Cobb. He is so cool, he reminds me a bit of Mickey because he's got the pink nose, he's got the blue eyes. He's just so cute, I love his like mane as well. Oh, I think he's going to be a really cool one. <laughs> So I'm going to be riding Focus and apparently he's very good at jumping but can be a little bit lazy so I'm very excited to see what he's like. He looks very cute. I think he's having a little bit of a snooze in the sunshine at the moment though. So I'm here with my friend Lydia and this is Bluebell the Cobb. So she's quite small but she's very chunky and very strong and um, she's one of the youngest out of all the horses. A little bit unexperienced but um, she, she seems really sweet. Hello. So I'm here on Focus, I've just got on and we're just waiting for the rest to get on now. So we're just about to start our assessment, just so the instructor knows that we can ride, see what level we're at, so because tomorrow we're going to be going to the beach, which should be very exciting. We're going to have some gallops and things, see some incredible views of the Isle of Wight, so let's go.
I've just finished my ride. I had so much fun with Focus today. Just so we can get used to the horses, we had our little assessment. We did a little bit of walk, trot, canter, just get used to them. Also, we popped a little jump. And then at the end, we did some games as well, which was really fun. Apart from, I had to circle loads of times because he's quite speedy and I had to stay in trot or walk. And then we did canter at the end, of course. And then, um, because also doing some games later with the local pony club later um, in the next couple of days. So we've got to train up for that as well. So, um, and then right at the end, we did a little around the world competition and I haven't done that for years. So I was a little bit um, stiff, but no, we had so much fun and Beanie was the winner. Good boy. Today, the plan is to trailer or take the horses up in the lorry to the downs. So apparently the views there are absolutely beautiful. There's also a bit of forest because it has been so hot, so we can nip in there and go in the shade as well. So now I'm gonna grab my friends. We're all in our riding gear and ready to go and get the horses. So we're now down at the stables and we're here with JJ who I think has just gone back to get his hay net but this is the horse that Beanie's going to be riding today because her horse that she rode yesterday, Otty, apparently doesn't load very well and he just gets a bit stressed so we don't want him to go through that. So we've got JJ here who's going to the downs with us today so that's going to be some fun isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So we're now in the barn and I'm going to introduce you to the rest of the team. So this is Focus and this is the horse that I rode yesterday and I'm going to be riding again today. However, we might have a little swap around and see, have a little fun riding each other's horses, but we'll see. And um, he's really sweet. We had so much fun yesterday. He was a lot more forward going than I was expected, expecting because they said that he was a little bit lazy sometimes and can get bored. But he, we also did a little bit of jumping with him as well. And apparently he won the puissance that they did on the island a few years ago. So that is really cool. So I'm excited again to ride him today. And then if we go along over here, we have Colin the super cop. He, um, Ella rode him yesterday and we'll be riding him again today. And he is very forward going. As they say, he's like a thoroughbred, but um, in a cob's body. So he's always sort of the lead of the pack, if that makes sense, or the lead of the herd. So he'll probably be going up at the front. And I'm sure he's gonna love going on some gallops along the downs. And then back here we have Bluebell, which Lydia's gonna be riding, and she again rode her yesterday. She is so sweet. Apparently she's used quite a lot for the RDA people that come here and ride her and a lot of pony clubs and things like that as well. So she is super, super sweet. She's having a lot of sleep at the moment, so I think she's getting her energies and getting a nice rest before our ride today. We're about to go on the Tennyson Trail here on the Isle of Wight, so I'm back again here with Focus and I think we're going to go on lots of gallops as well today, that should be really fun. Yeah, you're already looking about where you're going to go. Let's get up there, aren't we? Oh. I always be your captain I'll be your captain I always be your captain to do some mounted games and today we're going up against the HTP college who are doing um, level one horse care full time so let's go. <laughs> so we've just done the first race, first it was walk up, trot back, canter up and then walk back and our team actually won which I was very surprised about so yeah we had a lot of fun. So we lost, it's now one all. Um, I asked him to go to Canter and we, I think he got a bit excited. So uh, we had to circle because we missed a pole. So sorry team, but for the next one. <laughs> So 
that one was close, but we did lose the potato race, unfortunately. I think both teams had um, an occasion where they missed the bucket, so we had to get off, but it was very close. <laughs> good boy. Good? Good. Quite well, yeah. Just fell yeah. off. stepping stones and our team won so that was really cool and um, we had a little bit of struggles getting back on and uh, trying to find my stirrup and everything because I haven't done Manta games for quite a while now so that was a bit entertaining but it was really fun cantering all the way back back to our team. That round was a bit messier than I thought it was going to be. As you can see, my face is covered in flour. Luckily, I didn't take too long doing the apple bobbing because that was the thing I was most like worried about. But my sort of technique was to get the apple and push it against the wall of the bucket so then I didn't have to put my head so much in. But I still got a lot of flour on my face. But it was a lot of fun, but I'm quite mucky now. And I think our team won as well, so that was really fun. <laughs> Good boy. So my face is now clean, I yeah, used a baby wipe, well and um, they just did a race on foot, which I, um, my brother very kindly volunteered to be in, so thank you Max, and our team won, so thank you for letting us win, and uh, you might want to go get your face cleaned yeah, up now. <laughs> Thanks Max. <laughs> So today is our last day on the Isle of Wight. I'm back on focus and we're on the beach today. So we're gonna go on a little beach ride and I think we're gonna have some gallops as well. Woke up this morning Sunrise in my eyes Just like me Fresh air in my life. I don't know how, don't know why, but I'll, I'll be toasting all my life. So it's now the afternoon, we've come back from the beach, we've had a bit of a rest, we've had some lunch and things. So now it's the afternoon and we're going to be doing some show jumping and pole work, so that's going to be fun later. I'm going to be riding Focus again, and apparently he is a very good show jumper. Apparently on the island they had a puissance, and he won and cleared about 4 foot 3, which is huge. Especially as he's only about 14 hands, 14 2 I think he is, so yeah, small but mighty. <laughs> Oh, 
fine with me, so I don't mind. I'm fine with the speedy ones. So apparently he's very quick when it comes to jumping, so that'll be fun. And um, we're just gonna warm them up now and then pop a couple of jumps. It's the moonrise taking shape. You got the whole world press your face and when you look on all you see are stars. What they say they don't know it's like a paper cut that seems to grow until all that hurt seems to feel like oh you're down on your knees and over your head so we've now done our warm-up with walk trot and canter and both range lots of circles we're just doing a bit of pole work now there's also we did a bounce over there so that was really fun and um he is very different to jump compared to casper so i'm still getting used to him a little bit it feels really weird because i'm used to having a bigger horse so i can wrap my leg around him a bit more so it's just getting used to him now well apparently well, i think he's quite good in the school apparently he gets very excited to be jumping he's been very good so far he's gone over everything yeah <laughs> Got a good jump on him. <laughs> it's a car crash every day, your nightmare, nothing you can say. So you scream out, but no one hears your cry. Can't remember when you feel so alone, nothing left to do. So you go get stoned, and when you look around, all you see are. So I've just finished my jumping session with Focus and he was such a good boy, we had so much fun. Also we managed to jump the top of the blocks at the end so I was so proud of him. Also the last couple of days it's been so good for all of our riding, it's just made it a bit more versatile being able to ride lots of different horses because obviously he feels so different to Casper because I've just been used to riding Casper for the last five years so he feels so different especially as he's a pony and a little bit smaller I have less to sort of put my leg around so it just feels really different but it's been so much fun the last couple of days it's really sad because today is actually our last riding session so we're going back home now so I'm gonna have to say goodbye to focus but thank you very much for letting me ride you these last couple of days good boy I'm gonna go walk him off Okay guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm also going to be doing more little travel videos like this. I've also been to Iceland, so look out for that. I'm thinking of doing sort of like a equine sort of travel series. I'm doing a lot of traveling this year. So I'm also doing riding lots of different styles of horses and things like that. So look out for that. So I'd just like to say again, a huge thank you to the Ireland Riding Centre for very kindly inviting me. I had such a brilliant time. And they've also been so generous to allow me to do a giveaway as well. So all of the information, for the giveaway will be over on my Instagram page at this underscore Esme so check over there to see the giveaway post. So the riding holiday is for three days and two nights and it's for up to four riders and there's also accommodation for up to six people as well in their cottage which is just so beautiful and they'll look after you so well as I had such a brilliant time there so all again all of the information will be over on my Instagram. Okay guys I really hope you enjoyed today's video if you're new or have not done so already be sure to subscribe thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you all next time. Bye!